Welcome to Universal Freemason Presents Symbols of Freemasonry. Today we're going to discuss the square and compasses. The square and compass is probably one of the most important symbols of uh, in Freemasonry, if not uh, the most important symbol. It's definitely the most recognized symbol of a Freemason. You will see this symbol predominantly displayed on anything and everything that either is owned by an individual Freemason or on a building or on the walls of a building. Definitely you'll see uh, you'll see the Masonic ring will have predominantly displayed the square and compass uh, uh, as a master Mason loves to wear his ring. Um, You'll see that on the walls of a building owned by a group of Freemasons known as a lodge. So what does the square and compass represent? Uh, we're going to explore the deeper meanings of the square and compass uh, and what they represent to Masons in the first three degrees. But first, let's take a brief moment to remember our geometry class lessons from high school and recall that the compass is a tool used to create perfect circles and the square is a tool used to create perfect squares. When we combine the two, we have the circle within a square. And when we combine the products of a square and a compass, a perfect circle appears within a square, a perfect square. Now consider that the compass represents that which is spiritual, and the square represents that which is earthly, or uh, having to do with uh, human nature. So now we can see the circle within a square representing mankind made of earth possessing a spirit or a soul. Let's take a look at how the square and compass is presented in the first three degrees of Freemasonry. You will always see uh, some very subtle differences in the square and compass as how they are presented depending on which degree we're discussing. And there's some reasons for that. There's some uh, symbolism behind the symbol that we'll discuss now. You will see as in the inner, in in the entered apprentice degree. Pardon my uh, twisted tongue today. That the square is completely covering both points of the compass. And what that represents is. Our earthly nature is still covering our spiritual nature. As an entered, an entered apprentice, we have a lot to learn, and, and we have not yet been fully enlightened into uh, Freemasonry. And we'll use the description of Manley P. Hall from his book, The Lost Keys of Freemasonry, as we cover these three degrees, about the representation of the square and compass in the three degrees. So for the entered apprentice degree, Manley P. Hall writes, for him, meaning the entered apprentice, both points of the compasses are under the square. For him, the reasons which manifest through heart and mind, the two polarities of expression, are darkened and concealed beneath the square, which measures the block of bodies. He knows not the reason why his work is to follow the directions of those whose knowledge is greater than his own. But as the result of the application of energies through action and reaction, the entered apprentice slowly builds and evolves the powers of discrimination and the strength of character, which mark the fellow craft degree. If anyone are listening to this or watching this is familiar with apprenticeships in uh, uh, trade unions and the like, uh, which is my background, you will know right away what Manley P. Hall is describing there. Um, as an entered apprentice, or as an apprentice in a trade, you, you are not to ask why you are to do. And sometimes you're doing some things just be, uh, initiatory, just because the 
uh, journeyman or uh, has been or you know as we refer to the journeyman master mason we we are to do these things a lot of times just because you know he had to do it <clears throat> and in freemasonry that's not always the case but definitely in in trade unions you're doing a lot of things like um in the rain and uh on ladders and carrying uh the heaviest object you can imagine from point A to point B, just because his journeyman made him do it. So, the entered apprentice in Freemasonry is a given a lot of responsibility for their own learning. And there are symbols and, and uh, allegories that cannot be understood just yet, but it's really important for the entered apprentice Freemason, entered apprentice Freemason, to go forth and study and and try to learn the symbols and allegories, uh, because a lot more will will be revealed in the next degrees. But you must learn, you must have a good foundation before you go forward. Let's go to Fellowcraft. You'll see uh, here in the Fellowcraft degree, one point of the compass is above the square and one point of the compass is beneath the square. Manley P. Hall describes this in the Lost Keys of Freemasonry uh, saying that in this degree the fellow craft the two points of the compasses the higher one higher than the other symbolize the heart and mind and with the expression of the higher emotions the heart point of the compass is liberated from the square which is an in instrument used to uh, to measure the block of matter and therefore symbolizes form. So we're slowly, as we go through the degrees, we are slowly rising above that which is earthly in our thinking and in our philosophy. And this is the reason why that Freemasonry is integral in improving society and improving our thoughts and improving any individual who cares to study the philosophies of Freemasonry and take them to heart, you will soon learn that you will rise above that which is uh, earthly and you will find your philosophies and your thinking of that which is more of a spiritual and more uh, of a nature that is above uh, our own humanity. And it enhances our humanity as well. Let's go on forward to the Master Mason degree. The Master Mason degree, we'll see here that both points of the compass are now covering completely the square. Uh, this represents the transcendence of spiritual over physical nature of mankind. Uh, Master Masons are human beings just like everybody else and uh, will make mistakes and I am in no way saying that once you become a master mason that you have somehow now conquered conquered it all and can go forward and be the example and be the uh, supreme uh, deity over anybody else uh, basically you have learned much more you have opened your mind much more which only causes you to reflect on yourself much more on your own shortcomings. And actually, um, if you're really studying the Master Mason degree correctly and you take it to heart, the Master Mason degree will actually humble you a lot more uh, for what you really don't know and what you're never going to know as you study Freemasonry. It's uh, more than a lifetime of work to study all the philosophies of Freemasonry. But as we do study it, we do transcend, and we do um, absolutely have a better nature about us where we are or more willing to understand and have sympathy and empathy for those around us. Uh, Manley P. Hall describes this symbol of the Master Mason square and compass in The Lost Keys of Freemasonry by, by writing, Both points of the compasses are now lifted from under the square. The divine is liberated from its cube. Heart and mind alike are liberated from the symbol of mortality. And as emotion and thought, they unite for the glorification of the greatest and the highest. 
Then the sun and moon are united, and the hermetic degree is consummated. So Manly P. Hall is, sta is stating here that, uh, once again, about the transcendence of mind and heart over over the earthly being, over our wants and needs, and over our selfish nature, over the earthly um, attributes that we have been created with and we have been given. Um, heart and mind now transcend above that in the Master Mason degree, and we should always be working towards uh, selflessness, um, humility, and uh, also being... Uh, able and willing to teach others everything that we know to help bring them up to. Um, we never look down unless we're lifting someone else up. That's something to always remember. And we'll conclude today a very short and brief presentation. I tried to keep this a little shorter than the last one. But I want to thank you and I hope that these presentations are helpful and if you have any suggestions for future presentations I would uh, ask you to please write me universalfreemason03 at gmail.com I'm willing and able to take any suggestions on any more symbolisms that we would like to study together uh, I think the next lesson I'm going to put out will be on the smooth and rough ashlars. Mm -hmm. So anyway, thank you very much. I hope that you have a wonderful day and thank you for, for watching and following along with me. Have a great one. We'll see you. Bye.